Hello everyone, welcome back to another World Cup match in PES 2018, England against Panama, the match that will end the second match day in Group G. England, as you know, only a draw in uh, their first match against Tunisia, 1-0. Panama has lost against Belgium, but they could be a serious threat for England. They have played very well against Belgium, they lead it. If, even if only for five minutes, but they really don't look bad at all in that match. Time for the national anthem now. So let's have a look at the starting lineup, shall we? England with bottle and goal, Captain Cahill playing in defence next to Smalling, Bertrand and Walker, Henderson and Dyer defensive midfielders, Sterling, Lingard and Ali playing behind lone striker Vardy. Panama with uh, Panezzo in goal, Baloy, Captain Roman Torres, Salvador and Murillo in defence, Gomez, Camargo, Quintero and Cooper in the midfield, Tejada and Gabriel Torres in attack. So here we are, ready for the second match for England at this World Cup. Referee blows his whistle for the first time and we're on the way. Ali. To Dyer. Vardy to Ali. Bertrand. And Sterling was offside. Murillo plays a short pass to Roman Torres. Camargo. Tejada. They'll stop there. Henderson gets the ball to Vardy. Ali. Back to Henderson. And they get the ball back in the fence to Smalling. Now Anderson again to Ali. Bertrand. Sterling. Nice looking pass to Ali. Puts in a cross. It's well defended by Panama. Gomez. It's a touch on their Lingard and the ball is back in England's possession. Pass across it. It's a pass to Dyer. Oh, that was very poor. Lingard. And now, Vardy apparently offside as well. Yes. Second offence by England. Very good uh, refereeing by the linesman until now. First quarter of an hour is up. Nil nil. But uh, England attacking again. Intercept and get the ball pa back. Tejada is dispossessed by Henderson. Now another chance for England. Vardy on the left to Sterling. Tackle by Cooper. He keeps the ball. Ali to Vardy. That's a foul, but if he plays advantage, uh, the ball now goes out and it's going to be a free kick. A yellow card short to Balo, and I think the referee is right. Clearly a foul. And a good chance for England now from this free kick. Dyer is uh, 
Taking the shot, blocked by the wall. Bertrand a little bit late with the touch there and they give the ball away. Gabriel Torres. Cooper. And they get the ball back, move it quickly up front to Vardy. He has to turn around and pass to Bertrand. Now Sterling to Anderson. Vardy. Roman Torres chasing that ball. Why didn't uh, any other defender clear it out? I'm not sure. But um, it was a bit risky. Quintero. Now Vardy. To Gabriel Torres. Across towards the Hada. If I'm not mistaken, Tejada is uh, their uh, goal scorer against Belgium. Throwing now for Panama. Camargo. Should be intercepted by Lingard and does well to get the ball back. Henderson. Dio passes it back in the face to Smalling. Now moving. Right, Walker to Lingard. Vardy asking for a pass. Lingard's waiting for him. Great move there by Vardy. Walker now. Come crossing in the box. Lingard tries to get it back to him, but ball is out for a goal kick. And they're only five minutes left in the first half. England with. Uh, more possession than Panama, but it's uh, very little results. We don't even have a shot on target until now. Gaia to Sterling. Tackled and oh, he got a touch before he went out. Should have been a throw in for England, but it was given to Panama. Hada. And that is the end of the first 45 minutes. Goal is at the break between England and Panama. Same as it was in Belgium against Tunisia. Hopefully, we will see goals in this one. We're live again for the second half of the match between England and Panama. Group G, the second match there at the 2018 World Cup. And uh, England looking for the first points, Panama looking for their first one. Trying to keep the ball now, that's a great pass to Torres. Oh, a great pass to Sehaza, and a very nice save by Botland. Another great chance for Panama, their uh, biggest one until now in England. Have to start moving the ball up front much quicker. Oh, they give it away. Torres to Tejada. Back in the midfield to Camargo, Quintero to Vale. It's a good interception by Anderson. And they get it to Vardy. Pass it to Ali, but I'm not sure why he stopped his run there. Another interception in the midfield. Vardy to Sterling, gets past the defender, tries to dribble a bit too much and he lost the ball. One hour gone in this match and uh, I'm not sure which team would deserve the win in case anyone will get it. Panama keeping up very well, England playing as poor as in the match against um, Tunisia. It's just that at least in that one they had the lead, here they almost conceded at the beginning of the second half. Pass to Gabriel Torres. 
Chips the ball. It's a goal. Unbelievable. Gomez scores in the 17th minute against England. And what a moment for them. I can't say I'm surprised. Panama had their first World Cup ever, could get their first three points ever against England, and wouldn't that be something? So, 20 minutes left for England to equalise. Walker, advancing on the right, tries to get across into Vardy, who once again is offside. Neto with a short pass to Roman Torres. Panama holding on the ball well. And here they are attacking again. Gabriel Torres advancing, getting through. His shot is blocked. And Tejada with an amazing shot, but. Probably was offside, yes. It was saved by the goalkeeper anyway, but my goodness, what a goal. It would have been final 15 minutes. Guards it, Ali. Chips the ball towards Lingard. It's put out for a throw in. Walker to Lingard. Back to Walker. It's a pass to Dyer. Across in the box. Vardy with a header and it's pulled away by the goalkeeper. They get a corner kick, I think. The first one in this match. And Edo, very happy about that save, of course. I can imagine the adrenaline rushing in their bodies. They are leading against England. And time is running out. Dyer. Now Sterling. They give the ball away. Vardy. He scores off the rebound. They get the equalizing goal. And they might still have a little bit of time. To score the winning one as well. Really unlucky Panama. The ball bounced all around there. Goalkeeper, I think, saw the ball late. He had two teammates in front of him. And uh, of course, when you see the ball bouncing around the box like that coming towards you, it was a lady reaction to palm it away instead of retaining it. Davis is stepping in for Panama. 1 0, and about 7 8, maybe 9 minutes left to be played. Could go either way. Tejada to Torres. Camargo. Aurelio. Gomez dispossessed by Dyer. Pass it up front, but Vardy does not reach. Davis. To Harda, to Gabriel Torres. Didn't see a Simit on the right. But they continue the attack. Walker gets the ball back for England. 
tries to get in front. Ali jumps for the header, gets it to Vardy, only one minute added. Vardy is dispossessed. Gabriel Torres shifts the ball towards the Hadag. They were in serious danger there, good defending. And that is the end of the match. 1-0, draw. Panama getting their first points and England getting only their second. Another poor performance, but they managed to salvage it towards the end. Let's now have a look at the group standings. So it is Belgium first with four points, England second with two points, uh, Tunisia third with the same number of points, but they've scored less goals than England. Panama fourth with um, only one point, and I could say undeservedly on the fourth place. They they played very well against Belgium. Uh, they lead it and lost uh, towards the end, but. They lead it against England as well, and um, I'm sure they are disappointed, but who knows, maybe in the match against Tunisia in the final match day, they will get three points and could probably finish second. Belgium against England is going to be a very, very intense match. Uh, Belgium is not assured of their uh, first place there, so they will have to win, but so will England. Again, a very interesting group and we'll have to wait for the final match day. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Two matches left today, Poland against Colombia and Japan against Senegal in the final group. We will end the second match day as well and we'll have a look at this uh, full statistics after this uh, second round in the group stage. Thank you for watching the video again and see you in the upcoming ones.